we have some gaming news that I want to talk about. So, as some of you may know, Steam is currently having their summer sale. I believe, I could be wrong, um, I believe it ends Thursday. July 13th it's Thursday, right chat? I believe so. But, <laughs> I finally got around to grabbing some games. If you're following me on Twitter, you might already know this. Uh, my Twitter is just about VT, I think. I don't know if it's sad that I don't know my own Twitter handle or not. <laughs> but anyway, I finally got some games. I was umming and ahhing about it for so long because I have so so many games in my steam wish list i believe i have maybe 235 games i just i'm a bit of a fiend when it comes to making wish lists and stuff i just add everything in i'm just like yep 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 and it goes and it goes i want that one i want that one <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrible. But anyway, so I want to talk about the games I bought just so you guys know what we will be playing in the future. Just um because I'm really I'm really excited about some of these games. Like really, really excited. So first one I got was Oxygen Not Included. I have wanted to play this game for like the past year. I've wanted to play it for so long. But I didn't, I've never played an item management game like this before, so I really wasn't sure if I was gonna like it, and I was really hesitant to buy it, because I just didn't know, but I wanted to play it for a year, it was on sale, it was like $10 I think, before tax, so I thought, you know, I just went for it, I just bought it, I blacked out, and it ended up in my car, I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how, it just it, it just got in there. I don't know what happened. <laughs> but that is the first game. I'm really excited to play this one because I think this one is going to be a very long-standing series. I'm not too sure how we're going to play it. Maybe we'll do it as we just go for as long as we can with keeping people alive. And then after that, maybe we'll try it a few more times. I'm not entirely sure that that's going to be one we're going to be playing. Next up, what I'm really excited about is Mailmo. I'm also really excited about this one. And I'm specifically really excited about it because I don't know if any of you guys know the game. Uh, New Super Lucky's Tale, it's personally one of my favorite, 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 favorite games ever. The soundtrack to it is absolutely poggers. <laughs> But it kind of reminds me of that game. Um, so I'm really excited about this one. I'm seeing a lot of mail delivery service type games coming out at the moment, which I think is really exciting. So I don't know, I'm thinking maybe we get a postman hat for this one, because I think that would be really cute and funny. But this is also one that we're going to be playing soon. Um, I don't really know much of the story about it. I just, again, I kind of just got it because it was cute and I like cute things. I can't help it. Next up, we have, brrr, drum roll please, Night in the Woods. We, some, okay, Night in the Woods. I kind of have a story with this one. I don't know anything about this game. And I don't know how I've done that. Because this one really seems like it would be up my alley and I've seen playthroughs for it for years. But I've just never clicked on one and I really can't give a specific reason as to why I've never done that. I just, I guess I just never did it but I finally bought it so we're having a totally blind experience. Because a lot of the games I've played recently, they're games I've seen playthroughs for or they're games I've played as a kid i.e. Spyro. So I think this one, again, it's very rare, <laughs> it's very rare that we get a totally blind playful. <laughs> it's very rare that I get to do like a totally blind playthrough of a game. So I'm really excited for when we do this one. Next up 
is the Wanderer Frankenstein's creature. Again, this one looks like a really sweet game. It's, you know, names in the title, you play as Frankenstein's creature and you navigate in the world. There's not much more I can say about that one. I'm just personally really excited for it because I really like the art style for the game. It looks just really sweet and like calm and really just beautiful in general. So we're going to have that one coming up. Next up, it's one I've been meaning to buy for a while. And any of my friends in my personal life can tell you this as well. I got unpacking. I finally did it. I snapped. I finally got unpacking. <laughs> I, I bit the bullet. I bit the bullet and I'm finally going to do it. And you guys get to see me unpack boxes for four hours. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gonna be chaos because I don't think I always unpack in a normal way sometimes it can get a bit chaotic I'm not even gonna lie about that sometimes it's a bit sporadic so if you really want me to unpack in a certain way I'm just gonna ask you to cover your eyes otherwise you're gonna cry because I'm not gonna do it the way you want me to 